Hey everyone, welcome to Quasar's Customs. I'm Hearst Quasar, and we are back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, and we're doing a little bit of gameplay here. Uh, finished up my Fast and Furious series. If you hadn't seen that already, jump into one of those videos and take a look at some of the cars we built back then. Um, going forward here, we are going to do... Uh, uh, I guess like our request I guess is as much as I can probably give it um, for some movie cars so we're gonna jump right in doing some movie cars and I was just admiring my brand new shop truck I've not finished it yet it's not completely done uh, I do believe dead Bob triple seven put this thing together and it is one nice machine um, I did do some editing in it in the editor but other than that um, she is super clean and well, when I get the motor done on it and get the hood on it um, I'll have it done so for the first movie car I kind of looked around was trying to figure out what I wanted to do first my garage is a little bare over here um, but then it dawned on me what probably should be the first car of the movie cars that I do and it's from a movie where they crashed over, or they crashed 103 cars in the movie. And at the time was a world record. And yes, I am talking about the Blues Brothers. Oh yeah, we have the Blues Brothers Dodge Monaco here. This is by Gollywog. Um, I happen to pick this up. I don't even remember because I've been in and out of junkyards and auctions. And... Uh, uh, give you a little secret uh, Unless he's updated his files you're not going to find it But keep watching and I'll tell you how you can figure out where to get this car So let's go right ahead and jump right into it. I have not done any preemptive work on it I have just rolled it into the garage and um, We are just going to start tearing it down. So this will be one long video Prepare yourselves now. So I've been in and out of both junkyards and auctions trying to find cars. Um, some people on the Facebook page have given me some suggestions on cars to build that we do have in Car Mechanic Simulator. It's kind of hard to do, you know, things like... Uh, let's see. What's a good car that you can't really can't really build in here um dang I'm kind of fresh of ideas of what you can't build in here um but there are a few that you just can't build because now that's not cool I'm gonna to have to fix that in the editor that's all right it's okay we can do that I'll take care of that a little later So if you have any suggestions on movie cars that you'd like to see, throw them in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you, and I will do my best to get some cars going. Uh, I've had one comment, they wanted the Gone in 60 Seconds cars. Well, there's two movies, Gone in 60 Seconds, and uh, I believe we can do pretty much both, although the, uh, the new movie with Nicolas Cage in it, uh, the Mustang, I... I'm looking for it doesn't really have the body kit on it that is in the movie but we can get it pretty close much like we did with the fast and furious cars you know they're not exact but we'll try to get them as close as possible I mean there's only so much we can do in car mechanic simulator so hey I'm just gonna rip all this stuff off because it's going to the junkyard anyway yeah oh Go ahead, take the starter off here. Um, a little disappointed in this one because it does not have an actual Dodge engine in it, and I may have to change that in the editor eventually. So, um, now nah, first, before I go repairing anything, how are my rims here? Uh, oh, they're in pretty good shape. I think I can salvage them. No custom rims on this. This is going to be as close to the Bluesmobile as possible um, 
this is a movie that came out I believe in 1980 so 1980 most of you watching may not have been, even been born yet and I'm not saying that as an insult but it's just it's it's an old movie um, and yes they crashed 103 cars um, at the time it was a world record of cars crashed on film I believe so yeah it's absolutely crazy uh let's see what do I want to do first here uh, water let me check my tire sizes out here 205 75 15 so um, that's not where I wanted to go um, I might as well get four of these because they're probably all the same I might go a little bit wider on them. How's that? We'll go to 215. Uh, 75. Uh, can we do that? 205 to 215. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. We'll go ahead. We'll make it just a slightly wider tire. Um, and before I do that, I want to paint these rims a matte black. Uh, some pictures I've seen online. Uh, the car has rims or has uh, hubcaps um, others do not so but I believe uh, the pictures I've seen of the actual movie car um, it is just like a matte black rim um, maybe even a little dirty but um, I don't I can't like well I guess I could like paint the rusted rims I guess it could have been uh, could have done that, couldn't I? Oh, uh, well. Eh. That's okay. Car's going to look fairly new when we get done with it anyway, so we might as well just go ahead and do her up. Man, those tires look tall. There are several different versions Gullywog has on this. It's a taxi, a police car, and a regular Dodge Monaco. And there's also a, uh, a street car, or a, um, oh, I think it's called uh, Street Rod, I believe it's called. Yeah, so um, please feel free to download this car, and um, I'll tell you how a minute how to get your copy of that because like I said unless the files have been changed you're not gonna find this bad boy uh, brakes um, yeah we've been there let's go into the shop here we need some drums baby we need a couple of drums uh, What else are we going to need for this puppy? It breaks. I think we're good with the brake suspension. Um, I heard a couple of parts break, but I don't see anything broke on here, luckily. So we need some shocks. Uh, shocks and small bushings. All right. That works. So we'll go down here to the shocks. Get a couple of shock bees. And four of the small rubber bushings. And we should be golden. Um, uh, let's get ourselves a fuel tank. You know, the issue I have with my search is gone again. I don't know what I did. Maybe I just had to restart Steam and restart the game. I have no idea. Um, but you would put the cursor in there, place it in there, and start typing. And then yours would just disappear. And you couldn't search. And I, I don't know what what the deal was with it but hey it fixed itself I am one happy camper right so if you're wondering what the Blues Brothers movie is all about <clears throat> uh, a couple of actors Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi um, are Jake and Elwood Blues they are brothers and Jake played by Jim Belushi is in jail and happens to get out of jail uh, two years early, but he's on probation, right? Uh, Elwood, his brother, uh, picks him up, <laughs> picks him up from 
the jail in this in this car, this busted up looking police car, the Blues Mobile, and uh, not exactly sure what happens, but they go back to an orphanage where they grew up. They grew up as brothers in this orphanage, and they find out um, from one of the nuns there that the orphanage is going to close because they're uh, behind in taxes. So. I guess during a, a revelation of sorts, that tire looks actually kind of crazy. When I went with a 215, that does not look well at all, does it? Looks kind of nuts. Uh, maybe I went too wide with it, which made it a little taller. Yeah, let's... Um, I should have went with the stock wheels. I should have went with the stock wheels. All right, so hopefully I don't scratch at the paint job doing this. We'll get these all separated out, and we'll put some real. We'll put the put the normal wheels on it that Gollywog put on it because it looks right. It looks right. He did a good job doing that. So um, we'll swap these. We'll swap these bad boys back out. All right, so back in. Oh well, let's see. We want to sell these tires off because. I don't want to get them mixed up for Christ's sakes. Uh, let's get some tires here, boys. So we're going to get four of them. 15 inch. 205 75s. Those were the tires, right? Let's see, the old tires. Oh, I, I just... Dumped. I thought I 205 75s. Did I not just sell those tires? Oh no, I bought tires. Duh. I'm losing my mind. It has been a long, long day. I was on the road. Uh, I am an instructor, so teach like half the day, and then get into a hotel room. And you just, just, you just want to chill. All right. Let's dump off some of the stuff that we don't need in our inventory right now because I just don't want it in my inventory. I like keeping my inventory clean and neat. Alright. So let's put this back on. Maybe it was an illusion because I've got the rim all painted up black, but... I don't think so. We'll find out here in a minute. Alright. Yeah, it looks kind of silly with that... Uh, with the black. But I know it's black. I know that they're black. I may have to check that. That looks a little funny. Anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll have to check it later. I've already started this video and I'm... Trying to get through this as quickly as I can. So yes, Jake and Aylwood go to the orphanage. They find out the orphanage is going to close because they are um, behind in back taxes. And it's about five grand. So Jake gets this great idea of putting the band back together. When They had a band, a blues band. Um, and they played before Jake got... Uh, put in jail. And I don't even remember why he was put in jail. Uh, I think some petty crimes or something. Um, so he gets this wild idea of putting the band back together to raise the money to uh, pay for the taxes for this orphanage. So it's their mission, as as he would state. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Did you see those things disappear? Yeah, I did too. Um, as, as Jake would put it, it's a mission from God. So, um, in his eyes, this is a mission from God that he has to get the band back together and um, raise this money. Well, in the process of, you know, I think they're out looking around for the old band members and Elwood gets pulled over by the police in this car and he's driving on a suspended license and of course uh, a chase ensues and they tear up this mall he drives through this mall 
and believe it or not it was an actual mall that had closed and he used it for the film um and this is back in 1980 right so they they filmed this they filmed this in 1980 or probably in like 1979 before it came out in 1980 and this mall was already closed um i had read uh, a couple of days ago when i was looking at facts about this movie that that mall was not torn down i mean it was already closed when they filmed this movie right 1980 they didn't tear the mall down to 2013 is that ridiculous or what it had been sitting there that long without it being torn down uh but that's you know that is a crazy chase scene they are uh, you know the cops are chasing them uh through this mall and it's it's just a riot on their on and also on their adventures they come across this deranged woman right she is out for blood she she wants jake dead and because it's a comedy you know it's almost like cartoonish you know she tries to blow him up and he he comes away from the explosion you know maybe a little singed but a-okay right he's miraculously does dodges bullets and doesn't get shot and uh it's just it, it's it's a little comical so um the strange woman if i am not mistaken dang i should have looked it up i think it was carrie played by none other than carrie fisher for you guys that are star wars geeks you know who carrie fisher is carrie fisher is princess leia from star wars um unfortunately we lost her uh a few months back but uh I think it's Carrie Fisher that's the deranged woman going after Jake. I really do. Uh, man, I should have kept those things rusty. Oh well. Made it look like it had some dirt and stuff on it. Everything is getting repaired okay? So, you know, at, at this point, Jake and Elwood would have the police chasing them. And, uh, again, through a series of events. And I did, there's even a group of Nazis that chase them down. I, I don't remember why the Nazis were even involved. I seriously don't. I don't remember. If you remember it in the movie, uh, without me trying to look it up, hey, throw some comments down below. I would... I just don't know why they were chasing them, uh, but there was a, a country band that uh, joined in the pursuit of Jake and Elwood, and that was because after uh, uh, Jake and Elwood had gotten most of the band back together, of course, you know, a couple of them had decided not to do it. Uh, I believe at least a couple of them. Um, they find us. Uh, okay for lack of better words a honky tonk okay this you know this bar out in the country country music well they go in to play well <laughs> trying to calm this rowdy bunch is a handful and they end up drinking way more uh on the bar tab than what they were supposed to be paid for to do the gig so now they have to run out of there because they owe money. And then the country band that was supposed to be there, I think they were called the, I really want to say it's called the Good Old Boys. It's just a very, very cheesy name. But I think it's called, they were called the Good Old Boys. Anyway, so they start the pursuit after Jake and Elwood. And, okay, so you've got cops, Nazis, the Good Old Boys, and Carrie Fisher, the deranged woman, who, which we find out later, is his ex-fiance, Jake's ex-fiance, which is quite comical. She's after him. Uh, so yeah, so it's just it's just madness after that. It's just total, total madness. Did I paint these rims? I do not believe I did, sir. Let's do this.
Might as well. Make it look as pretty as we can. Of course, it doesn't look that pretty in the movie. And you can tell by the the, the library delivery. <laughs> they like spray painted a star out on us. It's got one black door, one white door. Um, typically, police cars have both white doors here. Um, quite again, quite comical. But um, let's see. I need to pick up some brake parts here. I know I'm going to need a couple of these couple of pads I think everything got repaired so I am you know I am almost let me let me double check here um, yeah those we are good there for the suspension we are good oh we needed a sway bar B um, get rid of all these bushings so I don't mistakenly put a bad one in uh, these tires are 205s as well. 20575, so we're good there. Our B links, our bearings, and our caps. So all we need is front sway bar B. Just a little quick on that. Front sway bar B. Good to go. So yeah, that's about the synopsis of the movie. You know, th th these guys are trying to raise money by doing a gig, and um, they need to raise five thousand dollars so they can pay the taxes for the orphanage that they grew up on. And Jake is always saying they are on a mission from God because they have got to get this money uh, paid for the orphanage to stay open. So it, it's it's quite comical. Um, believe it or not, um, some fun facts about the movie that I had read online. Uh, John Belushi was actually paid double of what Dan Aykroyd was paid, and uh, which is unfortunate. We lost uh, we lost Jim Belushi to a drug overdose, I believe, um, several years ago. Uh, Dan Aykroyd is still acting. Um, he is still in Hollywood. And uh, he's portrayed all kinds of characters in movies. You know, thinking about it, I, I believe he's still alive. God, I hope he's still alive. That was kind of a bad comment if he's not. Um, um, unfortunately, Carrie Fisher, we do no longer have Carrie Fisher. Um, oh, I forgot the mount and balance. That would be something that I should be doing, right? I think it takes forever. I can throw on a couple of parts while we're waiting. Don't ever forget your bushings. Bushings! So yeah, 103 cars are smashed in this film. Believe it or not. Now, I believe this does have a swap option in it, uh, but I know the exhaust is probably not going to line up. Uh, I will see here in a second. Let me make sure I've got all my bits and pieces. Before I start attacking this front side here. Bearing cap disc pads brakes caliper and piston all right let's get these tires all fixed up here no I don't want to separate I want to balance ooh it's almost tragic I almost did that again almost did that again So I don't know if Gollywog is watching this video or not, um, or if it, this was done on purpose, right? Um, I had searched for this car, and I had found several Dodge Monaco's uh, 
I found a police one. There's, like I said, there's a taxi. I have yet to find the street rod. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Uh, but I could not find this this particular beast in the junkyard or in an auction or whatever. And I had two Dodge Monaco's in the garage here. Uh, I kept the one with the, the the smallest miles. I sold the other one. Um, I actually got tired of trying to find this car. Um, because I really wanted this to be the first car of the movie series. For whatever reason, uh, you know, I don't have a strong opinion about this movie. I just thought it was a, you know, quite comical. But, uh... What I ended up having to do, if you... I didn't even realize that this car had existed until I went and looked at the car config files. Now, I'll just, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Go take a look at the car config files. And Gollywog is very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Let's take this puppy off. As you see, the hood actually goes through the ropes. And you know, you're probably asking, what in the heck is this up here? That is a mega horn right so these guys are trying to promote a gig right so the, the best way for them to promote it is they're driving around with this big old mega horn on their hood announcing where they're gonna play at to try and raise this money so not only does everybody know where they're gonna be playing at but you know the Nazis know the police knows his deranged ex-fiance knows uh, the good old boys oh yeah they know Hmm. Excuse me, I had to get a drink there. So everybody knows where they're going to be ended up playing. So yeah, kind of, kind of crazy. Uh, let's see, what would we like to do first? This thing doesn't even look like it has a battery in it, Gollywog. What is up with that? Is there no battery in this? How does this car start without a battery? Okay, so I'm going to have to go into the car editor and do a few minor changes to this. But, uh, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. There is no... Ooh, there's no brake cylinder in this either. Okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. I got my work cut out for me. I get it. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Um, we might as well just yank this motor out because we are not going to use this motor at all. We are just going to yank it and get rid of it because we will uh, put a brand new motor in there eventually. Okay. Um, swap options. What is the swap options on here? Well, we have several. Coyote, supercharged. Ooh, supercharged. A hemi shaker. Why, why do we got a hemi shaker on there? Coyote's a Ford engine. Uh, overhead valve hemi. Uh, the six pack might be interesting. Hmm. V12 is an option. Holy crap, Gollywog. All right, and, uh, all right so. Why don't we go with What about the overhead valve hemi? Sounds decent, right? We will go with the overhead valve hemi. Um so let's find ourselves the overhead valve hemi. Ooh, getting dizzy. Uh overhead valve hemi. Yeah, actually that would look really really nice in there uh, don't know how that's gonna match up with the exhaust but like I said I will have to fix that in the editor and I'll show you the results later so we are going with the overhead valve Hemi uh, what block do we need overhead valve C coil all right so here we go into the engine Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Okay. <clears throat> Again, I haven't built these, but I know a few parts that are going to be needed. These orange pieces. 
Always, always needed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are going to go with... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see, the crankshaft for the... Overhead valve C, yep. Going to need uh, at least three of those, I believe. Crankshaft pulley for the V8. No, overhead V8. My bad. Uh, engine block will be the V8 overhead valve C. Um, along with that, I believe we can get some performance heads on it. We'll check it out here in a second. Uh, valve covers. Like I said, I don't build many of these. These are the Hemi ones right here. That one was the B. Uh, where's A? Where's A? Right, there's A. Go ahead and pick those up while we're in here. Um, exhaust, I believe I can pick it up in the performance shop. No rollers are required. All this stuff is going to be um, pick that up in the performance shop. I'm going to go ahead and put the normal spark plug wires on it. Um, I believe that's for the Hemi right there. Uh, intake manifold for the... Ooh, which one is it? I do not remember. We'll have to come back to that. Overhead valve oil filter and a pan um, it will take these these rings so I might as well pick them up while I'm in here um, go ahead pick up a radiator well I don't have to pick up a radiator maybe that one will get fixed uh, rocker arms I don't think I need those but well we'll need la 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 I think it's the H's We'll pick up a couple of those while I'm in here. Rod caps. I know we will need. I'm not even sure about the serpentine belt or the belts. Uh, starter we have. Uh, timing chain. It's either F or K. I don't remember which. Timing cover for that as well. Um, push rods. It's either F or K. Uh, pick that up. Water pump pulley. Um, let's go back into the power performance shop. Pick up the. Uh, I'm going to need coil, distributor, rotor, and. Rotor cap. Oh, I should have picked up the clips. Don't forget your clips. Um, I think that's for the Hemi. I think that's for the Hemi for the H. Yeah, I believe. Um, I believe that's for the Hemi. So we will pick that up. Uh, pistons are the Charlie type C's. We'll go ahead and get those while we are there. Uh, that power steering pump comes into play. Of course, eight of these spark plugs. Yes. And uh, what's the alternator that goes in that? I want to say the I6B probably. Um, let's go ahead, clutch, pressure plate, flywheel. Uh, I believe it's the I6B that goes in it. Ah, uh, camshaft. I might be spending a whole lot of money for nothing here. Camshaft. I'm not even sure what the cam gear is or the, the carbs. I think it's. Yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to it. It's all good. Let's see what we have for right now. Get the coil pack on. Got to get our clips for the distributor. Crankshaft is in place. Distributor. 
cap. Let's not forget those those uh Oh, it is a V8 oil filter. I'll be dang. Holy smokies. Okay, so we will get pick up the V8 oil filter and while we're here we'll go ahead and pick up those clips. Uh clip B's are for the distributor, clip A's, remember A is for error. Eh, it's the best way to figure it out. Let's get that clutch release bearing too, because I always forget that. Alright, uh, oil filter. Camshaft. Yes. Go ahead and stick the flywheel clutch plate. Pressure plate and what I call the throw out bearing. I did not get an air f I did not get a fuel filter and I should have uh, cam gears overhead valve all right so that works go ahead and stick some pistons in here before we flip it over we'll figure out what kind of heads we need so we can see if those are in the performance shop I believe they are um, not entirely sure This is going to look nice, so it's head A and head B, H. All right. Let's get this all mounted up in the bottom. We'll tighten up the lower end to get this finished up. So they did make a sequel to the Blues Brothers. I think it was called Blues Brothers 2 or something like that. Honestly, I have not seen it could tell you a thing about it I've seen the Blues Brothers probably you know half a dozen times or so um, but the Blues Brothers too have no idea and I won't spoil the ending of the movie in case you want to uh, check it out on Netflix Hulu whatever your uh, streaming service is that you use um, check it out I'm sure you could probably rent it for cheap because it is such an old movie. Like I said, it was made back in, I mean, 1980. Crying out loud, so yeah. Alright, so the cam gear. We need. Um, we need a cam gear. And I think it was for the overhead valve right there. Um, going to need going to the performance shop here. Go ahead and pick up that fuel filter. I think two of these headers. Um, so there are H's, there's B, there's A. Uh, we need a timing chain too, but I'm not exactly sure which timing chain it is, and we'll find out here in a second. Uh, dun -dun -dun, it is F. So let's put these clips on while I am thinking about it, because you know how I can be a little scattered, and I will forget those. Ooh, yeah, look at those heads. Those heads look really super nice on here. Now... Oh, did I get the I, did I get the wrong ones? I probably did. What a loss of money! It's a good thing I sold that other Dodge Monaco. Got some cash for it anyway. That's okay. We'll get as much as we can on here. Oh yeah, that manifold is is <laughs> is the cat's meow right there. That looks nice. I put the spark plugs in. We'll have to go pick up some rods. I luckily got the right headers. <laughs> Check that out. Finally, something goes good my way. Alright, so we are going to need a chain. 
uh, carburetor A and carburetor B. And push rods, the overhead valve F. So carburetors HA and HB. Those are good to go. Uh, we have to jump back over here. Uh, look for the chain. Uh, we needed the F chain. And we need the push rods, which are the F type. And we need 16 of these bad boys. How painful are these? So for those who don't know what the push rods are for, they actually pushes oil up from the oil reservoir up into the engine assembly, up into the valve cover, or up into this valve assembly um, to lubricate the rocker arms that we're getting ready to put on this, pet, this bad boy. These have holes that are drilled all the way down through the center of them. And hey, what do you know? I got lucky on that one. Head cover B always oh, coming together nice. Yes. Carb A, carb B. Don't forget your carbs. So yeah, I'm not gonna ruin the end of the movie for you. You're just gonna have to rent it and watch it. And uh, if you do, drop me a line down below. Tell me what you thought of about the movie. Uh, I mean, it is an 80s movie. You know, it's not a bunch of CGI. The stunts are real in the cars. They actually, you know, they're, they're, it's not like Fast and Furious, some of the stuff they've done in a Fast and Furious with green screens and cranes and lifts and stuff. These are actual cars that actually got demolished during the film. And uh, it's as real as real can get for that. I, I, I give you that much. Yeah, see, I like just the normal plug wires on there. I think it looks so much better. Uh, I don't like the red ones on there at all. So this is interesting. Here we have got the whole engine almost put together, and the front of this is not even part of it. Um, in real life, your cover here should go on first before your oil pan because there you have a seal right here. And, uh, yeah. If you're trying to do it backwards, you're just asking for trouble. Asking for trouble. Alternator is the I-6. Hey, I, I winged it. I winged that, all right. And the power steering pump is the F1. <laughs> See, I do know a little bit about these cars. Not a whole lot, but uh, I do. So the air base for H and the filter for H. Uh, so it's, it's the C drive belts. So belts. Uh, overhead valve C. There's belt A. We're going to need that one. And then we're going to need belt B. Uh, so air cleaners. Where are you? There's the bottom. Where is the top? Um, it's not that one. It's this one right here. And what is the air filter for this? I think this one, I don't think this has a performance equivalent. Um, oh, I am wrong. There is one out there that doesn't have the equivalent. And I think it might have been the shaker. Uh, not entirely sure. It's cool that I've got the red air filter. I was happy about that. Even though you don't really see it, it does give you a little bit of a performance option. So uh, that's good to know. And we forgot to grab the fan, uh, fan B. I think that is about it for this. I am very, very happy. Didn't seem to take me as long as I thought it was going to. Uh, fan B. Fan B? There we go, Fan B. Of course, I haven't put this puppy over on a dyno yet, so 
anything could happen. Alright, I think we are good. This is going to look really good in there. And, look at that. Now that's what I call what should be in there all together. Um, so, I am going to have to do a couple of things here. Uh, we need some brake parts in here. And that exhaust may... I don't think that exhaust... It might line up. It, it's, it'll be... It'll be close. It will be close. Uh, yeah, before I put you on, let's put some oil in this puppy, shall we? Alright, and we need to... Yeah, the hood kind of goes through it, but... Honestly. <laughs> it's so worn and the rims look so new on this. It looks silly. I am going to have to find me a set of 15 inch rims or find a find another uh, Dodge Monaco out there with these rims on it and we just, just keep them rusty and paint them black because that kind of looks ridiculous. Brand new wheels on this. Might as well throw some of this stuff off. We'll take care of this. Uh... Some of this stuff I can reuse. Um, fenders don't come off. Bumper cuts come off. Leaves the ropes hanging. Leaves the ropes hanging. How's that? Okay, so for the interior, what do I have here? Uh, the back does not come out. The front is a front bench. Take that out and we'll take the steering wheel out. Now, I'm trying to. Let's. Uh, okay, let's move you back over to one. Let's move you over to one. Clean up the interior. And we will clean up the body. Is that hilarious or what? This is just. This is comical. Maybe I needed to paint these rims like a, a rust. I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to find myself a pair of a set of rims off of uh, another car. Man, I destroyed something. I don't know what I just destroyed. Did you hear all that commotion? Sheesh. Okay, trunk's good. Left tail light. Right tail light. Rear bumper. Oh, happy about that. Uh, ooh, yeah, doors. Okay, so... There's a door that's not good. Headlights. You good? Yeah. One door? Hey, I'm happy with that. Is there a mirror? Yep. Was there a mirror on this side? No. Nope doesn't look like it so I need some glass and a door and some interior parts so let us uh, let's go get the door first I was hoping I wouldn't have to put it in the paint shop again but that's fine uh, <laughs> Stock, stock, front, uh, rear, stock, right. Left door, left door, see what's the difference between you two. Um, they both say stock, left door, and left door, see. I guess I will find out. Uh, We'll go ahead. Uh, let's get the tinted windows. Why not? It's the Blues Brothers. They were uh, sunglasses. Uh, nah, 
na 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 rear window. Can I get a rear window? Or was it the front window? And I'm not sure about this door, so well. This is right rear, right left door. <coughs> so I guess that's the one that goes on there. What's the difference? So what's the C door? Um, I think the C door is probably for the street rod. Looking at it, it's like a dark chrome uh, color on it. So, so we're going to keep with that right there. So we're going to tint up the windows. Um, front window I did not pick up. I knew I missed something. Yeah, that just takes forever to. All right, got that, got that. Uh, need an interior. What do we have? This is the Bowen. Okay, so we have a Bowen. And a TBX wheel. So let's pick up. Oh, we need to get our windshield. stock windshield that should be sufficient um, bench Bowen and a TBX wheel we are totally going to stick with what Kaliwag has put together on this uh, where's the TBX wheel oh right there I got it I'm hovering right over it Missed it completely. Okay, so let's stick our interior back together. Yep. Brand new steering wheel. Alright. In the air you go. So, for this transmission, um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's 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 spruce it up a little bit let's go ahead and put a customizable transmission in it I believe I have a starter um, then it's just a matter of getting the exhaust all taken care of which it looks like this the exhaust may just may just very well line up so I need the C's and the normal stuff here so um, I do not believe the C's are in here dang I need the C's I, I, I need them those need to be in here they, they need to be a thing they really need to be a thing okay exhaust is almost complete with the exception of these two puppies right here have a drive shaft It's all lined up and then like I said I am going to go back into the editor and fix this up a little bit uh, and I'll keep it around for the next video so I can show you the highlights of what has been done I believe this is complete with the exception of the front window and the license plates all right so one thing I was doing in the <clears throat> started doing in the Fast and Furious series is trying to figure out what the license plates were. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for this one, I actually investigated it before I even jumped into this uh, video. So we are in Illinois. They go to Chicago. Uh, where is Illinois at? Illinois not exist in here? I guess it would help if I was in the right alphabet. 
And uh, even though the plate's a little off as far as what the what it looked like, their license plate number was BDR five twenty nine. So we're gonna purchase a couple of those, and that we'll put those right on here. Land of Lincoln. And this one goes on, yeah, it goes on right there. So you, sir, are complete. What is our worth on this? If we were to sell it, hey, look at that. Almost $200,000 for this car. And if you notice, the name of it is a pair of sunglasses. Is that ridiculous or what? Gollywog. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I sold it. Oh, well. Damn. Well, I'm going to have to find another one and build it back up. So, how unfortunate was that? Oh, well, that's what happens when you're not paying attention, people. I got almost got 200k out of it. Dang. All right, well, between now and then, I will have to find another one and build another one. How's that? So, <laughs> odd ending to this video unfortunate but I can always find another car unfortunately I probably can't find one that has that low of miles on like that one but I will search it out and I will find it and I will have it in this garage for you to take a look at edited and fixed so until the next time until the next video hang in there don't make mistakes like I did and sell the car that you wanted to keep uh, pay close attention and I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And share with me what other cars you'd like to see and not me sell. <laughs> All right. For now, this is Quasar. Whew. Been a long night. I am out.